Good morning, folks. Got a bit of tragic seismic news. We're going to poke some fun at climate scientists and a few more things in the process. But let's start with our star where the solar wind died down, the geomagnetic activity died down. We had no significant solar eruptions. C-class flaring continues, but it was at the near equatorial region just south of the equator. We will continue to monitor the sunspots, but again, don't expect much for several more weeks when the 5.9 month activity cycle will peak again. Minor uptick expected next month. Watch this video if you haven't seen it. And yes, major upticks on the sun are indeed predictable. So is the next one. Took a seven pointer in the Solomon Islands. Interestingly, not all that damaging compared to the 5.6 that struck Indonesia the day before, where low depth shaking took out several buildings and has killed at least 250 people, including many in schools that collapsed. Prayers go to them as the count rises. Also notable that seismicity offshore Oregon is rising once again, hitting the magnitude 5 range yesterday. We also have notable weather extremes in Australia, as the north is baking while unexpected cold, fierce winds and snow pound the south. What a scary continent during this ongoing earth shift. Anyway, we're off to Chandra where I honestly don't care much for their data sonification program, but the light echoes of some astronomical objects are just outstanding. That is a fun rabbit hole to run down someday, by the way. We proceed our top story by jumping back to last month's epic breakdown by Dr. Roy Spencer on how every single climate model gets it wrong. Blue is the observed temperatures. Red is all the official climate model predictions. The news literally acts like those predictions are reality and is, of course, trying to steal the world based off the aforementioned February. Yes, I'm making up words, but why not? They make up climate science every day. And the top story to which I alluded is this. The uncertainty range of aerosol forcing means they actually have no clue what the climate is going to do. For example, if a company says they expect to profit a billion dollars, there's likely a couple million of uncertainty in that range of expectation. Climate science claims about a mouse worth of warming, but contains an elephant of uncertainty, which by the way just dropped dead of sudden elephant death syndrome after getting its shots. Folks, we had our groundbreaking ceremony at Observer Ranch last night as the sun was setting. I do so enjoy those small, intimate events. Our fearless leader, Catherine, ran the show and we dug in together to officially kick off the Age of Observer Ranch. It will be a grinding several months ahead of us to get it completed, but we look forward to seeing many of you in person when it's finished. We are getting a lot of questions about donating to the ranch and we are humbled and very much appreciate it. Use the form in today's link list, also found on ObserverRanch.com, so you can get your tax deduction to the educational nonprofit, which is now the best way by far to contribute to the observers. Again, link is found below. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.